projects in this video we are going to explain about a project titled smart pi understanding permission implications of android apps from user reviews so now coming to the introduction part in essence the smart pi project addresses a pressing need for a comprehensive understanding of the intricate relationship between android app permissions and user experiences by leveraging user reviews as a lens through which to study these app implications the research sets the stage for a more user centric and privacy conscious landscape within the ever evolving realm of mobile applications the research revolves around harnessing the rich source of information embedded within user reviews and feedback to unravel the interplay between permissions and user sentiment by delving into the content of user reviews the smart pi aims to discuss certain patterns that connect specific permissions with positive or negative app experience this involves analyzing sentiment expressed by users when discussing app permission request functionality on overall utility so now coming to the objective part for this project is to achieve a multifaceted objective to dissect the implications of android app permissions through the lens of user reviews by analyzing sentiments identifying patterns and shedding light on the intersection of permissions and user experiences the project aims to drive improvement in app development practices empower users with knowledge and contribute to a more transparent and user centric app ecosystem another critical goal is to bridge the gap between technical permissions and their real world impact on user experiences through a comprehensive analysis of user reviews smart pi intend to provide a holistic perspective on the interplay between permissions app functionality and overall user satisfaction this understanding can empower developers to design apps that strike a balance between providing valuable features and respecting user privacy thus cultivating higher levels of user trust so now coming to the requirements part we have two types of requirements that are hardware requirements and software requirement in hardware requirements operating system as windows is required processor i5 and above minimum 4 gb of ram is required hard disk 20 gb and above coming to the software requirement part python ide l that is 3.7 version is required now coming to the methodology part first data collection or upload data set the process begins with the collection or uploading of a data set containing user reviews of android apps this data set serves as the foundation for the research user reviews offer valuable insights into user sentiments and perceptions about app permissions second data set pre processing after obtaining the data set pre processing is essential to clean and organize the data this involves tasks such as removing irrelevant or duplicate reviews handling missing data and ensuring data consistency third reviews is selection from the pre processed data set a subset of reviews relevant to app permissions is selected for further analysis this reviews explicitly discuss the permissions requested by the apps and provide insights into user opinions and concerns regarding these permissions fourth review clustering and permission inference model the selected reviews are often vast and diverse to manage and analyze them effectively review clustering techniques may be employed clustering groups of similar reviews together aiding in identifying common themes and patterns additionally a permission inference model is developed this model attempts to reduce reuse users opinions about app permissions from their reviews fifth accuracy precision recall and f score to evaluate the performance of the permission inference model several metrics are employed accuracy measures the proportion of correctly predicted opinions precision quantifies the proportion of correctly predicted positive opinions among all predicted positive opinions while recall calculates the proportion of correctly predicted positive opinions among all actual positive opinions the f score is a harmonic mean of precision and recall providing a comprehensive assessment of model performance six exit once the permission inference model's performance has been evaluated and refined the analysis phase concludes this insight gained from the model can be utilized to how to understand how different perceptions and opinions about android apps so now coming to the execution part we execute the project first we need to open the code folder so here we have a folder which is named as dataset in this we are containing some dataset over here and this this smart pi is a python file which is containing the python script in it and here this is the run.bat file instead of executing the program in command line interface we created windows bat file to execute the project so now to run the project double click on run.bat file to execute the project here you can see that this is the graphical user interface with this we are interacting with the program now click on data collection for upload dataset button to upload a dataset 
Here I am selecting this data set and now click on open button to load the data set. Here on this screen you can see the data set is loaded and now click on data pre-processing button to pre-process the data set. So here on this screen you can see that displaying app name and its reviews and in review text you can see there is no stop words or special symbols as this are a clean text after applying an LTK. You, while scrolling this above text area to view all views now click on reviews selection button to convert reviews of to TF IDF vector and then find similar reviews requesting permissions. So here on this screen all reviews converted to TF IDF vector. And all reviews words will be put into top of vector and if word appears then its count will be put in, in its next row columns as zero will be put. So now click on review clustering and permission and prints model button. So here on this screen first line displaying app name and second line displaying user reviews and the third line displaying list of identified permissions from user reviews and you can while scrolling down you can see the text area to view all reviews. So now click on accuracy precision recall and F score button to calculate accuracy of this algorithm and review calculation. So here on this screen with calculated reviews are applied we applied machine learning algorithm and we got accuracy as over 100%. And in below lines, we are displaying percentage of each requested permission calculated by analyzing user reviews. By clicking on the exit button, you can exit with this application over here. So now coming back to the conclusion part, in essence, the Smart PI initiative serves as a beacon of collaboration between technology, human behavior and policy considerations. By unraveling the intricate narratives open within user reviews, Smart PI navigates the intersection of permissions and user experiences, providing a roadmap for app development regularity bodies and users to collectively navigate the complex landscape of app permissions. Through this endeavor, we stand to foster an environment where app development and usage are marked by transparency, user satisfaction and respect for privacy. By prompting a deep understanding of permission implications, Smart PI can foster a culture of transparency, trust and accountability within the app development landscape. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.